Okay, so the first tourniquet I'm going to show you, the first manufactured tourniquet, is the CAT tourniquet, or the Combat Action tourniquet. And the first thing you'll probably notice about this is its colour. It's bright orange, which is perfect for the civilian user, for the civilian setting. All the manufactured tourniquets do come available in combat colours, but of course... Uh, a black colour or a colour that doesn't stand out on your patient is not what we need for the civilian setting. The, the last thing we want is a doctor or a, a clinician further down the line in the care of this patient to not realise that there's a tourniquet applied. So it needs to stand out, it needs to be obvious that there's a tourniquet on this patient's arm or this patient's leg. So bright orange is perfect for civilian use. Now the manufacturers of this tourniquet recommend that this is stored in your first aid kit ready for use and to do that I'll just show you open it out you can see here that there's a belt buckle on that end it looks like a belt buckle and it literally just loops through like so and doubles back and fastens down on the velcro now there's a couple of reasons for this one is it's simply one less little tiny task to do in a blind panic when your patient's bleeding out with life-threatening bleeding but also um, this is now ready to be applied single-handedly in case I'm the casualty and I need to perhaps apply it onto one of my arms and I've only got one hand to do it so to do that I can show you that it very easily just loops over the end of the arm or the leg and then you can pull it tight like so and it velcros around to the back like so and then I'll just give this a little twist and this is the, the windlass here so the windlass I'm going to twist and twist and twist to tighten it up I'll go one more um, of course I've applied this to myself here in the classroom setting we don't want our students to be applying tourniquets either to themselves or to other people and there's a section on how to safely apply tourniquets in the classroom and how to teach them in the classroom so watch that before you before you go live um, now uh, I've just tightened this a couple of twists here which to be fair I'm not going to go any tighter because it's on my arm and it, it's going to uh, cut in and it hurts um, but uh, in real life I would need to tighten this much much tighter than this so probably another good two turns there in order to occlude arterial blood flow uh, to stop the life threatening bleeding and of course what we need to be teaching is tighten this enough to stop the pulsating bleeding the life threatening bleeding okay right so once I've twisted this tight enough it just loops in and hooks into these uh, this like C cup shape which is brilliant and really easy to do is that I could twist that another tight more tight if I want the next thing you do is you just wrap that around and then it's got a white piece of velcro strap here which goes over and that stops this from popping back out but the beauty about this is it says here time and we write the time that the tourniquet is being applied that's really important because of course the uh, the doctors at hospital are going to want to know exactly how long this tourniquet has been on for. So really important that you write the time. And I like this design. It stands out. It's right on the front of the tourniquet. It's very, very obvious what time it was applied. Okay. So um, uh, this tourniquet now should stay on the patient and it shouldn't be loosened. It shouldn't be removed, even if the patient protests about pain. Uh, all we can do is reassure the patient that the pain is necessary because this is saving their life. Um, I am reassured by people that the pain actually does start to subside. Probably it goes numb after a certain amount of time. So you can probably tell your patient that look, the patient, the, the, the pain will subside, but we can't remove it and we can't loosen it off. It's saving your life. For the classroom, though, I am going to take this off and I want to show you something. So uh, let's just undo this. Now what I wanted to show you when I undo this windlass is this. So in the classroom when we're training with this you can see as I pulled it tight I pulled quite a loop of material there um, and before your next person has a practice with this tourniquet we need to get that flat again. So to do that you just hold the tourniquet at either end and do that. And that's pulled it flat now that's ready for your next student to have a go you can see this white strap here uh, to keep that out of the way you just touch the velcro end onto there like so and that's how it wants to be stored ready for use as well then you can just lift it over okay so that's now ready for 
practicing and then of course as we store it we want to store it ready for use on. so that is the uh, the cat tourniquet so the next manufactured tourniquet I'm going to show you is the matte tourniquet or the mechanical advantage tourniquet um, and this is again it comes in bright orange which is good for civilian use that's great now the thing that separates this apart from the other two tourniquets I think is this like C cup shape there and that's designed so that it just quickly goes around your arm or around your leg it will stretch out will that and go around a thigh without too much problem and of course if I'm applying this single handedly that's stayed exactly where I want it to stay and then it's got quite a strong metal buckle that clips into a hook and then you pull the strap tight around the arm so to tighten this up um, it, this is the absolute f fantastic thing about this tourniquet um, it's got a um, a string system, a pulley system inside here uh, and all we do is we just twist this little dial to tighten that pulley system up so it's very very easy to tighten up if you just look how easy this is just two fingers there we go and of course we tighten that enough to stop the uh, life-threatening bleeding, the pulsating bleeding um, maybe I need to just tighten it up a little bit more and I can just do a couple of notches just to get it perfect whereas with the cat tourniquet or the soft tea tourniquet I would have had to go an entire full half twist again on the, uh, and then fasten it off where this you can just do it that little bit of time just to get the perfect amount of pressure so I do really like that you can fold that down and then write the time of your application on there so that the doctors know exactly when it was applied um, and that's the uh, you know feels fairly comfortable on my arm to be fair at the minute does this but the beauty of it is its simplicity and its ease to tighten up so I think for a civilian use this is a, a very very simple simple tourniquet to use now to take this off for training purposes I'm just going to press on that buckle there and I can very easily un un undo it and also what we need to know for training purposes is to reset it ready for the next person to have a go because I've just tightened the pulley system up we can actually loosen the pulley system there's a button there that says release on it so if I press that release button there and then pull on the strap you can see this spin round there we go and that's now pulled back tight uh, and that's ready for the next student to have a go so uh, that is the Matt Tonicay.